it's such a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees out. <laughs> uh, oh no, there's the wind. Every time I come outside, there's wind. But um, yeah, it is a really nice day. It's super bright and bugs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to go to a review session because exams and review sessions are nice and not too many classes offer them, so I figure I might as well use them. I swear this vlog is literally just let's make food with Silent Mist because that's been the greater majority of all of the stuff that I've done on the vlog. Right now I'm dethawing some round cube steaks. <laughs> just some uh, beef that I'm gonna fry up and put into some rice, so yum. So a super fast way to dethaw de meat is to just submerge it in water. And I'm submerging this in warm water so it goes extra fast. And also this is a very thin cut of meat. So it just like thawed instantly. And now I have the rice, the vegetables, and the broth all right here. Uh, I gotta wait for that to go on, start boiling on high. And I'm gonna cut this up. And I'm gonna fry it with some oil and some soy sauce. And that should result in some pretty good tasting meat, and then I'll just add that on top. So this time I'm making like significantly more than I made last time because I have the intention of making extra. So that's how that's gonna work. You gotta season the meat. Um, and I think that's everything. Unfortunately, I accidentally got some light soy sauce once, and it's not as good as the normal soy sauce, but I got the normal kind. I'm just going through the rest of it. And do we have anything? Rice vinegar. Nope. Hmm. I think that's all. I think there's some other things that I could add, but nah. So I'm gonna cut this up and then season it. There it is, mostly seasoned. I've just forgotten the salt. That's always important. Um, although I guess soy sauce does make it kind of salty, but still, I would like it to have a slight kick. And what better salt to use than garlic salt? Mmm. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this together and then... Yeah, I'll use a spoon so I don't have to wash my hand again. Hands again. Um, I'll just stick a lid on top of this for a little while, and in like five or ten minutes, I will fry it. It'll be tasty. Or hopefully it'll be tasty. I was thinking of just frying all of the rice together and having fried rice, but nah, I don't want to do that. I'll just do it with this. That, and I don't think this pan is big enough to uh, fry that much rice. So now I'm going to cover this. Whoa! Hard to do with one hand, um, just because leaving raw meat out is kind of gross. Um, and I've switched this to this burner so I can use the big burner to fry this. So that's just going to be a little bit of oil. I'm just going to get this ready now. Touch of oil right here. And now I can let this sit for a little while. <laughs> Steak is cooking up. Um, my goal is to not cook it super much, like a ton, because I want this, I don't even know what it is, but this runoff juice to uh, last, because it tastes really good when it's put over rice. So I can't cook it too much or else that's gonna all evaporate away. So right now I'm just like trying my best to cook it at a relatively low temperature, and then when needed, just throw this on top, just to keep in as much of the liquid as possible. But uh, the rice is slowly coming to a conclusion. Um, yeah, that's getting finished quite quickly. I had another seven minutes left, but I wanted to get this done, so as soon as it was done, I could put it in. Yeah, but um, it's coming out pretty good. I am excited. The ground beef is done. Not ground beef, no. This was uh, diced beef, I think that's what it's called. And the normal rice is just the normal rice, just the rice rice is almost done. So as soon... Actually, I could probably take it off now. Um, but yeah, actually, let's kill this. And what I'm going to do is... Hmm, how do I want to do this? I could either pour this into here or pour that into there. I think I'm going to pour this into there and then try to mix it. Because it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff. But uh, I am actually quite excited, and oh look, there are actually a good number of vegetables in the rice this time. Last time I put in way too little. But um, I'm really excited to see how the meat's gonna taste, um, because I seasoned it up quite a bit. Hopefully it had long enough to like absorb the flavor, but it's time to eat. The deed is done. The meat has been mixed in, and everything looks pretty good. And it tastes pretty good. Oh, um, mm. not bad.
that beef has actually been sitting in my freezer for the better part of a year. So it's not exactly new beef, but I came to the realization that if you put meat into the freezer, it really doesn't go bad. Like if you put it in as soon as you get it, it's gonna be perfectly fine a year later. Um, I knew that was the case for chicken, but on this one website that I had looked at before, it listed beef as like a significantly less lasting food, but I mean, this isn't the best cut of meat, so it's a bit chewy, but it tastes perfectly fine to me. So I'm happy to know that uh, this actually tastes good still. Hopefully it doesn't kill me, just like the food that I made yesterday. I don't even remember what I made yesterday that could have killed me, but I'm gonna eat some of this now. So while taking a small break and studying, I decided to try to set something up that I have known about for a while, but I've never actually tried. Over there, I have Adobe Media Encoder running on the second computer. Not the normal computer, but the second computer. And it is currently rendering a bunch of stuff. It's actually rendering out every day's worth of the vlog up until this point. Um, and the reason why it's doing that is because I set up a watch folder with Premiere, or uh, with Media Encoder, which will watch a folder on this desktop and just look for any projects that have been added to it. And so I drag the vlog one into that folder, and then, like, two seconds later, it just started encoding stuff, which is really cool, actually, because it just automatically started. So, theoretically, I could just have this computer do, or the second desktop just handle a bunch of rendering, but... I don't want to do that, because I just checked this thing out. Oh, nope, it's not horrific anymore. My network u uh, network usage was incredibly high for a little while, uh, but now it seems to have calmed down to about 50% utilization. Yeah, it was like pegged at 100%, but I'm transferring stuff over the network at about 20 to 30 megabytes per second, which isn't terrible or isn't bad really at all but my storage drives are constantly being hit with like read and writes so i couldn't exactly have this thing just uh do it every time because i have a feeling that if i were to do that then there could be a problem where let's say i am recording something and then i drag something into the watch folder and then suddenly there's a lot of disk activities on the drives that i'm recording to and as a result that would like mess up the recording because I'd be recording while I was also rendering despite it being on different computers it would be just all that traffic I have a feeling that like frames would get dropped but I set it up and it worked really really well actually I wasn't expecting it to just immediately work um task manager on here this poor processor it's only like a quad core i7 although it's well that's the wrong speed but um an older quad core i7 I should say Hello there, loud bus. Um, and it's getting hit pretty hard. It's staying around 70%, but I only have six gigs of DDR2. What? That's not right. That's DDR3. Um, yeah. No, it, it, it's working. It's just, I don't know how well it's working. It, it, the renders are definitely taking a bit longer than they do on the desktop, but that's because there is no graphics acceleration with the GPU. But it works. So that's cool. Um, at some point or another, I do want to build, like, a comprehensive rendering machine that will just handle all of these renders, but from the little research I've done, um, Premiere and Media Encoder really don't scale well. Uh, like, a quad, maybe a six-core processor, or in some rare occasions, an eight-core processor is about as good as it's gonna get. Um, heck, like, the 4770K or the 4790K like the top of the line consumer i7s um, all perform more or less the same as like a slightly older 8 core Xeon or in the case of what I want but it actually performs better than the dual 8 core system that I want to build um, which is really unfortunate because yeah the codecs that they use to encode the video just aren't super optimized for that many cores. Um, there might be other ones that are more scalable and I just haven't discovered them but, yeah, I just think that it's really cool that this just worked. And I could actually do some, like, render comparisons between the, uh, b -b -b between the current desktop and the El Cheapo desktop. Or, heck, I could even just set up uh, a watch folder on the old, or not the old, the laptop, and have that thing do stuff, too. 
the possibilities are endless. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna actually end the vlog off now. It's quite early, it's only 9.30 already? Jesus Christ. It's already 9.30. <laughs> um, I have started to do my Japanese homework. I'm a page and a half down. I have five pages to go. Well, no, three and a half pages to go. Um, I've gotten a large chunk of the material down for one of my exams tomorrow. Um, I just need to walk through a couple of things for another exam tomorrow, and then if I have time, I need to start studying for an exam that I have on Tuesday. And then when that exam is over, I can finally take a moment to breathe. <laughs> um, although I guess technically I did take yesterday to breathe because I literally did nothing yesterday. Um, I studied a little bit, but not as much as I should have because I was just done. <laughs> I needed a day off. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I think that's going to be all for today. Um, I've like slowly started switching my work over to this laptop just so I can, uh, let's see, where is it? Here, here's some general notes about some stuff that I took while I was at the review session. But uh, while I'm using this, there's just less of an opportunity to get distracted. So, yeah, I'm using that. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think that's all. So I do hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all again tomorrow. So until then, bye bye Still sounds awkward when I use it as a vlog outro. Until next time. No, maybe no until next time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No. Maybe I'll just go with the awkward silence. <laughs>